Hello, I'm Krista with the Monroe County Public Library Children's Department, and today we will be working on our early math and science skills by sorting. When we sort, we take a large collection of items like this, and then we separate them into smaller groups based on a certain characteristic, such as their color, their shape, size, texture, what they feel like. You can also think about what they're used for, what they're made of, or where you can find them. Lots of ways to sort. Today, I've got these items that I found in the children's department, and I'm gonna sort them by color. Now, you can usually use baskets or bowls to separate in. I didn't have those. That's okay, you can use what you have. I just made these little signs so that we can also learn to recognize some of the letters that are in our, our color words. I just thought that would be a little extra fun. But you don't have to do that either. You can just make piles, that's fun too. So we're gonna get started and sort. Start with this. What color? Red, yes. So we're gonna put it over here. There's our red word, starts with an R. Put our red apple right there. So we've started our red pile. Here we have a green ball. Are we gonna put it here with our, our red ball? Our red apple? No. We're gonna find the green right here with our G, put our ball there. Ooh, banana. What color is it? A yummy yellow banana. Am I gonna put it here with our apple? They're both fruits. I could if I was sorting that way, but I'm sorting by color this time. So I'm gonna put them here with our yellow sign. Got a blue berry, it looks like. A little soft, squishy blueberry. Let's see if we can find the blue. Oh, here we go. Got our B blue pile. What color is this? Yes, black little squishy ball. And we're gonna put him, oops, right here. Our black pile that also starts with a B. Hmm, got, let me see what color this is. The little purple whale. And he's gonna go swim over here into our purple pile. We have a little duck. What's really fun about this is you can play with the toys as you go along too. Where should our little duck go? Should he come over here? With our apple? No. Should he play over here with our green ball? No. He's gonna come over here in the yellow pile with our yellow banana. What about our red bird? Where's he gonna go? Go fly over here. And eat the apple. What color is this? We haven't had this yet. That's right, orange. Do I have an orange pile yet? It doesn't look like I do. I didn't make a card for that. That's okay. I can make my own rules and make my own new pile right there for orange. Our little turtle. Color is our turtle. Yes, green. All right. We're gonna put him over here with our red bird. Nope. With our blueberry. Nope. He's gonna swim over here with our green ball. And here we have a red car. Where's he gonna zoom to? He's gonna come right up over here. Oops, with our red pile. I also have another car. What color is this car? Blue, is he gonna come over here with our red car? No, we're not sorting by that right now. We're sorting by color, so he's gonna zoom over here to our blueberry. What about this? It's a white. A white ball, isn't it? 
Do I have a white pile yet? Doesn't look like it. I have to start a new pile. Start it right there. And I can also put, ooh, I've got this rocket ship that's also mostly white. He's gonna go in my white pile too. Sometimes you have to make new piles. All right, we've got a squishy purple ball. It's gonna come over here with our purple whale. And one more, can you see what color this is? The blue octopus. Am I gonna put him in the green pile with the turtle? No. He's gonna come over here with our other blue friends, the car and our blueberry. So there, we sorted all of our items by color. Now, can we think of another way we can sort these? Hmm. Let's get everything back in, tear everything down. Put aside our note cards because we're not going to sort by color anymore. Let's see, how can I sort these items? Well, looking at them, I noticed that a lot of them are round. So maybe I could sort them into round items and not round items. That's a good start. See, we have this round ball, right? Nice and circular. We're going to put him right there in our round pile. What about this car? Is it round? No, it's not really round, is it? So am I going to put him here with the green ball? No. He's going to start his own section over here. The not round section. Got a blueberry. Is this blueberry round? Looks pretty round to me, so I'm going to put him here. Banana. Is this banana round? I don't think it's very round. I think it's more long, so he's gonna come over here. Along with our little duck. I wouldn't say that our duck is round, so he's gonna he's gonna come over here. Oh, and if he's not round, so is the bird. Bird's gonna fly over here and play with the duck. What about this turtle? Oh, his shell is round, isn't it? But the rest of them really isn't round. So I guess in a way he could go in the round pile and the not round pile. What do you think? I don't really think there's a wrong answer. It depends on how you see the turtle. I think it's okay if you want to put them in the round pile, and I also think it's okay if you want to put them in the not round pile. I'm going to put them over in this pile, mainly just so he can play with his bird and duck friends. But it's up to you. You make the rules. I also have these little squishy balls. I'm going to call those round. They're nice and round. They're fluffy, but they're round. So those are going to go in my round pile. Go with another one. And we have our rocket ship which is not round. We also have our little whale. I don't think he's very round. He can come over here as well. Along with our octopus. He has a little round head, but the rest of them isn't really long, round. He's got long little legs. We have our apple. Put it right there. What about this car? Is this car round? No. He's gonna come over here. And there we have it. We have two separate piles. One is round and one is not round that we've also separated these items into. Is there another way we can sort these items? Even further? So just looking at this pile that I have here, I noticed that some of them are animals and some of them are not animals. I can just even further separate these into a pile of things that are animals, like our bird and our duck, octopus and whale, and our little turtle guy. And so now I even have even more groups with animals and not animals within my already not round group. And you can go on like this. How many ways do you think you can sort items that you have at home? 
This is what I love about this activity is you can use anything that you have on hand. You can use toys, fruits and vegetables, laundry, even um, items from nature that come in handy. You can also talk about compare and contrast anywhere you go. You know, encourage your child to explain their reasoning. How are these two things the same? How are they different? Make sure to use comparison words like more, less, same, different, heavier, longest. It'll help them build that vocabulary and understand what those terms mean. Simple sorting activities like this will help your child develop skills needed to recognize numbers and letters and to later on to read and do math. For more resources on child development and age-based learning games, visit our website at mcpl.info. I've also included a book list of books that we have on sorting and math conveniently sorted here in our library. Thank you for joining me for Preschool Fun.